Hello and welcome to today's sequence. Everybody's welcome to take part. I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite daily moves that I make sure I do even when I have very little time to do yoga. So I really hope you enjoy it. We're going to be targeting so many different areas of the body so it really is a full body class. We're going to begin in a seated position, any seat of your choice. And we're going to start off just closing off the eyes and tuning into the body and the breath. Relax your shoulders back and down. And start to engage a deep breath through the nose, which you'll continue throughout the class. With your eyes still closed, extend your arms and draw your fingertips to the ground. Really pull them apart. Drop your head to one side. Take some deep breaths into that stretch. And then roll your head gently over towards the other side. Pause for a few breaths. Let's do that one last time, so we're going to roll to the other side. Pause for three breaths. And then roll over to the other side one more time, pausing for your three breaths. Slowly draw your head back to centre and release your arms, give them a little shake. You can slowly open your eyes. We're going to interlace the fingertips, press one hand away from you and the other in the opposite direction, stretching through the hands. Let's swap over. Release, coming onto all fours for our cat cows. We're gonna take three. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch, tuck your chin and your tailbone. Two more, inhale, down. Exhale, arch. Last one, inhale, down. Exhale, 
Exhale to arch. Coming into a neutral spine, we're going to raise the right arm to the side. Draw to the left and your hips to the right for a side body stretch. Come back to neutral and we're going to thread the right under the left for our thread the needle pose. Hug your belly button back. You can keep your left hand planted where it is or you can find an interlace into that right thigh. Releasing the left hand. Inhale the right back to the sky and take that side body stretch. So you're sending your hips to the right and your arm to the left. Let's take it over to the other side. Raise the left, send the hips to the right and the arm to the left. Come back into neutral and take that left hand under the right, thread the needle. Come down onto your shoulder and you can keep your left, sorry, your right hand planted or find a grip on the inside of your left thigh. Release that right hand, plant it down. Inhale the left over to the side, hips towards the left. Side body stretch. And back to neutral. Move your hands a little forward, tuck your toes and send your hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. Just walk your dog, stretching through the hamstrings. Bend your knees as much as you need. And it's okay if your heels don't touch the ground. Rest your head, three deep breaths. Raise your right leg up to the sky. Draw it towards your chest and roll forwards to plank. Step as far forward between your hands as you possibly can. Coming into your runner's lunge. You can find stillness. You can bounce. Whatever feels good. Just feel out the pose. Feel through the stretch. When you're ready, slowly draw the back knee to the ground for low lunge. Come on up, bring your hands to your heart center in prayer. Send your hips back and straighten the front leg. Just take your arms alongside your body and send your toes to the sky. 
for an active half split, half Hanumanasana. Frame the front foot and we're going to heel toe the, the foot out towards the right for our lizard pose. Come onto the knife edge of the foot so allow your knee to fall open. And you can use your right hand to press that knee a little further away from you as you allow your hips to sink. Getting a little deeper into that hip stretch. Release your hand, plant your foot nice and firmly next to it. Lift your back knee off the ground and step into a plank. Hold your plank for a breath and exhale, lower down to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra, bring the arms alongside your body. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Bend your feet and take a grip of the outside or inside of your feet and lift up into your bow. Slowly release the feet, press yourself up into plank and back for down dog. <sighs> Take your time, you can walk your knees and then become still three breaths. Inhale to raise your left leg to the sky. Look between your hands, draw your knee to your chest. Roll forwards to plank. Step between your hands into your runner's lunge. Find movement or stillness. And then we're going to very slowly draw the back knee down to the ground. Coming into our low lunge, hands at heart center. Hips are facing forwards. You can keep those back toes tucked for the next position. It will help with balance. And we're going to slowly start to send the hips back, straightening through the front leg, toes point up towards the sky. Take your arms alongside your body and draw your chest towards your leg. Coming into our half split pose, Adho Hanumanasana. Plant your hands alongside your leg, your feet, and send your hips forward, coming back into your low lunge. Plant your hands shoulder distance as you heel toe this left leg out towards the side, as wide as the mat, into our lizard pose. Allow the knee to open up, coming onto the knife edge of this left leg. 
you can use your left hand to press the knee a little further away from you. Allow your hips to sink, getting deeper into that stretch. Release your hand. Keep your left foot where it is, but plant the toes down now. And we're going to step this back leg, so come up off of the knee, to the other side of the right hand. And then sink your hips down low for your yogi squat malasana. Your hips may be raised, maybe you can't get too low. You can always place a block underneath your bum to help you. Keep the spine nice and long, close your eyes, three breaths. Plant your hands down onto the mat in front of you. Raise your hips and heel toe your feet so that they hip distance apart. Draw your belly to your thighs and exhale forward fold. If you're more flexible you can straighten the legs. Maybe interlace the fingertips behind your spine and allow your palms to fall over your head. Start to sink your bum down towards your calves. Release your hands and make your way down towards the ground, but don't sit. Take your hands a few inches away from your bum behind you. And we're going to raise the hips up to the sky for our reverse tabletop. Squeeze your glutes to raise a little higher. Your head can drop back or you can look straight ahead, whatever's more comfortable on your neck. And then slowly raise your hips down towards the ground. Draw the soles of your feet together and open your knees out wide for our butterfly pose. You can find movement or stillness. Breathing into the stretch. Press yourself back up. Find your way into a comfortable seated position. Take the tops of your hands to your knees. Close off your eyes. Roll your shoulders back and down. We're going to end our practice with a moment of silence together. Allowing the practice to sink in and for the breath to return to a natural rhythm. Take your hands to your heart center in prayer. 
Rub them together and create a warm friction. And then place your hands over your eyelids. Take a deep breath. Through the nose and exhale a sigh out of your mouth. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> And release your hands. Take your hands to your heart center in prayer and you can bat your eyelids open. Namaste everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day. Or as they say in such a lovely way here in France, Bonne journée. And I will speak to you soon. See you at our next class. Namaste.